So I actually want to begin by asking you, um, I know Jeff Johns at DC has uh, called Green Lantern the Star Wars of the DCU as far as the mythology and, and everything. So I was just curious if you could talk about that and, and how that will sort of play into these films. Yeah, well, I think, um, I think that it has this rich history since 1940 where in the Green Lantern ethos, there's 3,600 sectors of the universe. So we're doing the story of Hal Jordan, the first human being ever chosen to be in Green Lantern. And he will take us into the center of space to the planet Oa, where well, you're gonna see all kinds of aliens, all kinds of worlds that you've never seen before, and a landscape that just takes you beyond your imagination, which I think is, you know, that's why Jeff made that comparison. So it's a whole new, it's part space opera. And with Oa, so since we're gonna see Oa, tell me about the Guardians, what they look like, are we gonna see different aliens uh, that are different lanterns around the core? Yes, you are. You're gonna, you know, the Guardians are, are pretty true to what the Guardians have always looked like in the comics, but of course we take it and ratchet it up a notch, hopefully in our design for the movie. Um, Nyla Dixon is our costume designer who won an Oscar for Lord of the Rings, and Grant Major is our production designer who also did Lord of the Rings and won an Oscar, so we had this incredible creative team that created these characters and this look and these worlds. So it's pretty true to, to what the comics are, and the, we, sh we feature about 25 of the hero Green Lanterns, all kinds of characters like Salak and Ratlafan and Gahu and Bzz and all, <laughs> Galius Zed, the Green Man. And so they're gonna, it's going to be really exciting to see them all. And then I want to ask you about the suit because it came out on the cover of Entertainment Weekly recently. Right. A lot of fans have been saying, where are the white gloves? Where is the black? Can you talk about the choices yeah. to make the suit the way it is? Yeah, I mean, look, you've only seen a portion of the suit, so I can tell you right now there is a lot of black in the suit, but you can only see a torso shot, and it's also colored a certain way on a magazine. So I think fans will see there's a lot more black in it than they think there is that they've seen so far. Um, we had to also make some choices of what worked right for the movie, and our version of the suit is an organic suit that is biologically linked to the wearer of the ring. So since Hal Jordan's the first human being, when he puts the ring on, it comes from within him, the suit. Okay, so it has to kind of map the human body. So the white gloves, it was a choice that didn't quite match up with that theory so much. And with the effects with the glove, I mean with the uh, uh, with the ring, were we going to see like the boxing glove and like different, like, uh, or is it just going to be beams? Cool constructs. Oh no, you're going to see constructs. Yeah, don't want to give away what they are, but you'll see you'll see really neat constructs. Awesome. And what's the role of Sinestro in this? I mean, is he sort of training? Sinestro is like the greatest of the Green Lanterns, as the fans all know him, and he's going to be a tough uh, drill sergeant to Hal Jordan, and uh, he's a hero in our movie. Is there foreshadowing maybe in the end? There may be a little foreshadowing. You'll have to see.